Hi, I'm Laurie Thomas with the University of Kentucky Department of Forestry and Natural Resources, and I'm here with the tree of the week, the yellow poplar. It's a tall, fast-growing, beautiful deciduous tree of our eastern forest. It commonly grows more than 100 feet tall with a straight, limb-free trunk in a forested setting. Its common name is misleading because it's not in the poplar family, but actually in the magnolia family. It is thought the name poplar came from the way the leaves quivered in the wind, much like true poplars. Yellow poplar is also called tulip poplar or tulip tree, and it's Kentucky's state tree. The tree grows in the eastern half of the United States and is considered intolerant of shade. It is an effective pioneer species on disturbed sites within its range. It grows best in deep, moist, well-drained soils of forest coves. It's a relatively long-lived species that reaches maturity around 200 years of age. The showy tulip-like flowers have six petals that vary in color from light yellowish-green um, at the margins to deep orange in the center. The flowers are found typically at the end of the branches and somewhat high up in the canopy, so they can be difficult to see sometimes. They bloom after the leaves have emerged somewhere from late April into June. The colorful center or base helps guide bees to the flower's abundant nectar. It is a source of gourmet honey. The nectar is also popular with the ruby-throated hummingbird. The leaves are deciduous and alternately arranged on the branch. They're somewhat shaped like a tulip. The twig has an interesting looking terminal bud. It resembles a duck's bill. It's bivalved. The twigs have a slight sweet spicy scent when bruised or broken. The fall color tends to be a showy yellow to golden yellow, an attractive addition to any landscape. The fruit is an upright, cone-like aggregate of samaras, which are one-winged seeds. The fruit ripens between August and October, and the seeds are dispersed by the wind through late fall into the winter. Yellow poplar is a prolific seeder, and the seeds can stay viable in the soil for anywhere from four to seven years. The bark is somewhat distinctive, even though it varies as the tree ages. On young trees, the bark is light gray and somewhat smooth, with small white spots, but as the tree ages, it develops into long, rough, interlacing ridges separated by ashy gray fissures that appear diamond-shaped. Yellow poplar has long been an important timber tree. Early pioneers used the straight trunks to build cabins, and the wood was used for carriage bodies, shingles, saddle frames, and interior wood finishes. The sapwood tends to be light in color and the heartwood tan to greenish brown to dark green. As you can see in the cut logs there, this, the heartwood is more towards the center. The wood is straight grained and machines and glues well. It is used for interior finishes such as crown molding, trim, picture frames. It's also used for furniture, plywood, veneer, construction grade lumber, and pallets. It's an overall extremely important timber tree. The national champion yellow poplar is in Chesapeake, Virginia. It's 390 inches in circumference, 100 feet tall, and has an 83-foot crown spread. Kentucky's champion yellow poplar is in McCreary County in the Daniel Boone National Forest. It's 220 inches in circumference, 163 feet tall, with a crown spread of 81 feet. If you'd like to know more about National Champion Trees, check out American Forest Champion Tree Registry or check out the Kentucky Division of Forestry Champion Trees. Now for just a few fun facts about our yellow poplar. It's the tallest hardwood in North America. It's called tulip tree for its tulip-like flowers. The scientific name Lyria dendron is from the Greek Lyrian and dendron meaning lily tree, and tulipifera means tulip bearing. It has also been called the canoe tree or canoe tree because Native Americans used the trunks to make dugout canoes. And it's also the state tree of Tennessee and Indiana. 
Well, I hope you enjoyed learning a little bit about our state tree and get the opportunity to get out in your neighborhood, at a local park, or even your woodland and really enjoy our state tree, the yellow poplar.